Abraham Lincoln, Emancipator and Hero. Abraham Lincoln grew up in the backwoods of Kentucky and Illinois. Lincoln worked his way up the social ladder, from a humble rail splitter in his youth in Kentucky to a fine young lawyer in Springfield, Illinois by the time he reached his mid-twenties. Lincoln's career as a lawyer, as well as his ambition, made him the perfect political candidate. Although his political failures would far outweigh his successes, Lincoln did manage to win a seat in the U.S. House of Representatives representing Illinois from 1847 to 1849. When people think of Lincoln, they automatically think of him as the President of the United States. But it was not that easy. Lincoln had to compete against such political luminaries as William Seward and Salmon Chase. Lincoln won the nomination to be the Republican candidate on the third ballot at the Republican National Convention, and history was altered forever. One of Lincoln's greatest accomplishments as president was building his cabinet of political advisors. The cabinet had many different political figures with varying ideals, such as Henry Seward and Edwin Stanton, both staunch abolitionists, and Edward Bates, a border state Republican whose political leanings somewhat sympathized with the South. Lincoln became the cog that these men clung to, and he used their strengths, which would be needed as war was on the horizon. The election of Abraham Lincoln was the last straw that caused the southern states to secede. Although Lincoln was not as much of a hardline abolitionist as his colleagues, the South took it as a sign of things to come that their Democratic candidate was defeated. As the war raged and peace seemed unattainable, President Lincoln began to make it one of his highest goals to see that slavery was abolished in the United States. This feeling came to a head on November 19, 1863, when Lincoln delivered the Gettysburg Address and would be solidified when he issued the Emancipation Proclamation, abolishing slavery in the United States. After four years of the bloodiest war the United States has ever seen, the Civil War ended on May 9, 1865. Sadly, some Southern sympathizers could not handle the idea of defeat, and just days after the war ended, John Wilkes Booth assassinated President Lincoln while he was attending a play at Ford's Theater in Washington, D.C. Lincoln would die the next day, robbing the country of its greatest hero in its time of need. When people think of Abraham Lincoln, they think of Honest Abe, a nice but not particularly brilliant man. But to the contrary, Lincoln was one of the most brilliant men ever to walk the earth. He was the cornerstone that held firm the experiment that was the United States in the mid-19th century and forever changed the course of American history, establishing himself as a national and international icon. 